I knew this was right. I knew this was the right thing to do. It's, it's something like I've always wanted to do, something on this scale. We had a big canvas here to work on, big, big roof. I'm Bruce Hemstock, and I'm a partner at PWL Partnership Landscape Architects. This had never been done on this scale before. So we had to come up with systems for the sequence of the plants being laid out. What we had to do was find a grouping of plants that would grow in these areas of, of the roof and would grow in the urban conditions. So we borrowed from nature, but used science and technology and our understanding of plants to actually assemble uh, the plant groups for the roof. But um, even though there is irrigation on the roof, we still allowed the plants to kind of go through their normal seasonal change. This, this section of the roof was the first third which was done in the spring and it is yellow because it's gone through its fall dormancy and it's gone through a, a cycle of a year. And in the winter they really green up because there's a lot of rain and in the spring they bloom and, um, and, and then they set seed and, and it just continues on and on and on. is what it is, it's a living roof. It will fluctuate and change over time. Once it's finished its growth pattern, the foliage goes back onto the uh, soil and it's recycled like a compost. And it really is about bringing ecology and habitat into the downtown urban environment. And we have six acres of plant material giving off water all summer long so it will cool the air. It will also clean the air. Quite an optical uh, illusion, especially where it blends in with the Harbour Green Park there. The, you know, the, you, you don't realize that there's like a, a, a couple hundred feet drop there. There really is a way to um, bring nature and environment back into the urban core of, of the downtown and there's no reason why we can't um, make this happen on every single building that we build in the future. And if everybody did it, um, I think the, the world would be a better place because we would certainly have a lot more habitat and global warming would, would become less of an issue.